Hello everyone, I am Shwem Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will discuss how to find out the area of a triangle in 5 different methods. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. So in the first method we will use the formula in which the base and height of the triangle is required. So let's say we have a triangle and we can label it as A, B and C respectively and the height of the triangle is h and the base of the triangle is b then according to the formula the area of a triangle is equal to half into b into h. So by this method in which the base and height of the triangle is given we can calculate the area of the given triangle. The second method that we will use for calculating the area of triangle is the Heron's formula. So let's say we have a triangle and we can name it as a b and c. Now the length of bc is equal to a, that of ac is equal to b and that of ab is equal to c. Now first we have to calculate the semi-perimeter which is equal to the half of perimeter. So perimeter is equal to a plus b plus c. So semi-perimeter is equal to a plus b plus c by 2. So according to the Heron's formula the area of triangle is equal to under root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c. Now all these four parts are under the root. So the formula of under root s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c is the Heron's formula and this method is used for calculating the area of triangle when all the sides are given. The third method for calculating the area of triangle is by using the in radius of the triangle. Now in radius of a triangle is the radius of the largest possible circle that can be drawn inside a triangle touching all the three sides. So suppose we have a triangle ABC and the largest possible circle that can be drawn inside the circle is this and suppose the radius of the circle is equal to small r then the area of this triangle is equivalent to r into s where s is the semi perimeter of the triangle. So if the lengths of the sides are A b and c respectively then according to the in radius formula the area of triangle is r by 2 into a plus b plus c. Now the fourth method for calculating the area of triangle is by using the circumradius. Now circumradius of a triangle is nothing but the radius of the largest possible circle that can be drawn circumscribing the triangle. So suppose we have a triangle let's say A, B and C and this is a circle circumscribing the triangle ABC and the radius of this triangle is capital R then according to the circumradius formula the area of the triangle is equal to A into B into C whole divided by 4R. Now the fifth and the last formula that we can use for calculating the area of triangle is equal to half into A into b into sin theta. Now this is one of the simplest formula that we can use for calculating the area of a triangle. So suppose we have a triangle let's say a, b and c and over here the length of the side ab is equal to a and the length of the side bc is equal to b and the angle contained between both these two sides is equal to theta then by using the formula half ab sin theta we can calculate the area of the triangle very easily. Now there is one important point to remember in this formula that is the angle theta must be contained between both the two given sides. So suppose if this angle is alpha and this side is equal to c then the area of triangle is also equivalent to half into b into c into sin alpha. So you can see that this formula is very useful when two out of the three sides are given and the angle contained between both the two sides is also given. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel Ace in Academy.